Hey, did you go swimming today? Did you go swimming at the beach? Welcome to a warm and toasty day here down in South Florida. So if you guys saw the last video, we went out to a fishing pier that's right like a few blocks that way. This RV site is awesome because just like we did the other day, we're gonna be biking down to the pier. There's a bunch of beach area we could fish. Camper went swimming earlier. It's a really cool area. The other day when we went out, this was a tough pier to figure out. Like it's just a weird time of the year for fishing here in Florida. But we did manage to catch a nice fish and I was looking around and I saw all the locals were using kind of the same thing. I felt like I was missing out. So today we stopped at the tackle shop and we got what the locals here tend to fish for those fish with. I'm hoping we're gonna have a day. We're about to head back to the pier, see what we can freaking do, man. Skirt. Wifey's up there, she's coming too. She's gonna be going to the beach. Just never gets old, man. The palm trees. I love me some palm trees. They're just, ow. They're happy trees. All right, let's get over there. Sure. That should be good. Look at this, it's a weekend. There's no spots on the bike rack. I wonder how popping the pier's gonna be. How's it going? I'm just gonna do one for fishing. Yeah, how are we going? Five dollars later, we are in. Oh my gosh. If you guys saw the last video, compare that one to this one. There's so many people out here, dude. Holy, all right, so this is the pier. I'm hoping that like, since there's a bunch of people, it's not gonna affect the fishing in a bad way. Sometimes it used to happen in Delaware, but I think we're gonna be going out far enough where it won't matter. Here it is, oh man. It's a beautiful day. It's crazy that like, this is a Saturday in Florida. And I was just looking in Delaware, it's so freaking cold. Ain't nobody going to the beach there. Very blessed to be able to be out here fishing. Whew, that water is nice. Okay, so before we get down too far, let me just talk about what we're gonna be doing here. Last video and last time we were here, there were some Spanish mackerel running around and I kind of talked to some locals and they were like, yeah, dude, this is like why we're here. I guess March is like a time for Spanish mackerel at this pier. I don't freaking know. I, I, you know, I came into this knowing absolutely nothing. I saw one guy like down this way the other day, he hooked a Spanish mackerel. So I was like, oh shoot, let me throw on a spoon. And we were kind of like tossing out there, jigging it and one bit the spoon. But a lot of the guys that were fishing the other day, they were using what looked like a little marabou jig. So I went to the tackle shop and we bought some of these. They're just called like crappy jigs. They say it's like the secret juice out here, I guess. It's funny because if you guys have been following my channel for a while, I caught my personal best rainbow trout in Delaware on a black one of these. It was not this big, but I, I love marabou jigs. I've caught so many fish on these things, but I haven't really, you know, pier fished with them that much. So today, that changes. We bought some other stuff too, but let's get down here and see if anything is going on. See if we can maybe get into something. Here's the thing, right? I haven't fished for Spanish mackerel like a lot, ba barely at all really. But I think it's a lot like bluefish. So they're a pelagic fish and they just kind of swim around chasing bait. And if you could find the fish, they should hopefully just be like aggressive and wanting to bite. I think that's gonna be the tough part is finding them. Some people out here jigging. There's a couple other people out here using some gotcha plugs. I haven't seen any fish yet. A lot of people just out here with little bait setups too. I have not seen any fish yet. This would be cool though because the other day there was not nearly as many people out. So maybe we'll see more people catch more fish today too. And you're always learning in new spots, new piers. Always learning what's around and how to catch stuff. Hopefully get whacked on this. I think with this kind of fishing, it's a lot of patience. And you just have to wait kind of till they swim around.
here we go. What the heck is that? Oh. Oh, blue runner. Probably be good live bait. I don't know. Man, you you, you first you're day doing? fishing? First day? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You. What's up, man? How's it going? That literally hit it. This thing was like resting on the bottom. And I just realized too, I forgot all my GoPro batteries back at the curb. So we might have to take a bike ride here for a second. That's cool though. First fish of the day, not what I wanted to catch. That that was my first one to ever catch one of those. Oh, oh we have battery ready. Let's keep jigging and hoping. Started off like kind of going sporadic, but now I'm just kind of letting it hit the bottom and just kind of giving it some pops. That's how that guy hit it. My singular battery ended up dying, but I saw a wise old man. He caught a Spanish. He let me know the secret to catching them. He said, get the jig to the bottom and just make sure like it hits the bottom. And we're back. So we have to go lower. That was a tip I got. We're gonna put that to use. By the way, if you guys have been following for like a while now, it's been a couple months. My one foot is like freaked up. I try not to complain about it, but when I do like long walks with like a backpack on piers, you know, I'm uh, getting it checked out in a couple days though, so. I tried a lot of things, but the pier was just dead. I tied on a speaky rig and jigged that for a while. Let's take y'all to a different spot and see what a speaky can really do. On here, we just put that little speaky rig and on the bottom, I'm not exactly sure how strong this current is right now, but we have a two ounce pyramid sinker. Um, hopefully it's not too snaggy. So this is actually, uh, oh my gosh, that pelican, can you guys see that? I don't know what the heck that was. But these sabikis are actually supposed to look like little fish. Drop that down there. If we put it right in front of something, Sometimes you don't really even need to put bait on, but I, I really don't know, man. This is the second time I ever fished here. I'm just a dude from Delaware, man. Maybe let's see, drop it down to the bottom. Hopefully we don't get snagged. First cast. Come on, anybody down here? I'm looking for some kind of something, like a small little pinfish, pigfish. It's really anything that we could use to hopefully catch a bigger fish. Please definitely down in the comments below, let me know if I'm doing this right. I literally don't freaking know what I'm doing. There's so many people here though. I'm just looking around and I don't see anybody else making a dance. All right, one more time. All the way down. I'm like really gonna bop this one around. I've used this technique a couple times in videos like, oh my gosh, look at that big thing of grass down there. Oh, do I have fish? Dude, I think I have fish. Oh my God. Kelsey, I got two little bait fish. Oh my god, what are these? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no! Get it! Don't, 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 come back! What the freak are you? I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna look it up real quick. Holy crap, holy crap, put them in the bucket. Can't open the bucket? Okay. Fish are in the bucket. I need to get a big rig on. Those fish are gonna catch me a freaking monster. Fish. I was just not twitching it enough. Well, I got something. What is that? Is that the same thing? Or. Oh, it came off. There's something. Is it, if it's the same thing, I think I'm gonna put shrimp on. Is it? Oh, it came off as well. What the heck? I'm just smacking my sabiki. Oh gosh. 
What the heck is this? Um, I got something on my sabiki. What the heck is this? Uh, <laughs> Kelsey? Oh my god. Oh my god. I got a Spanish mackerel. Whoa, hurry, don't Can you grab that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, what the heck? On a sabiki. What the freaking heck? Oh my gosh, dude, this is what I'm talking about, Florida, man. You never know what you can catch. I was catching these, off, remember, off the beach in Delaware. Yeah. All right, I'll take a look at this. I know my hand's in the way, but that is a freaking beautiful Spanish mackerel. I actually have a catch and cook of these on my channel if you guys want to see. I'll put that uh, on the screen right here, but just an insane looking fish and just those teeth. These are pelagic fish. I just want to get them back in because they're supposed to just keep on swimming, but yeah, man, crazy fish. Thank you for biting, buddy. That was so cool. Goes right back down on the sabiki. That's a, dude, that's a surprise catch. Like, on a sabiki, too. Hopefully, if there's one, there's more. They usually school up. It'd be cool to see, like, a little blitz or something. But yeah, I'm gonna get back down there. Um, yeah, hopefully <laughs> we can catch some more stuff. That's freaking awesome. Oh, my gosh. Once he hit, it started pulling drag. I was like, that is definitely not one of the smaller fish we've been catching. Already a successful day, dude. Those things are some of my, like, honestly, favorite fish in the whole world to catch. And just, like, the fact that we caught them in Delaware. Now, like, in Florida, off crazy bridge. That thing is bopping. Surprise, nothing's biting that. Live bait we got. Definitely man. let me know down in the comments below if you guys have fished here. Or I mean, you know, if, even if you haven't, what would you be throwing here? I originally planned, I mean, to put some of that shrimp on here. But these sabikis, I mean, oh, that's another one. It's gotta be. Kelsey? <laughs> I think I got another one. Come here, come here, boy. Oh my gosh. Is that? Oh, this is so freaking sick. Oh, holy crap. Oh, gosh. All right, y'all. Uh, look at these freaking dudes right there. Some of the coolest markings. Some of the coolest fish I've ever caught. Let's let them back in there. All right, a lot of y'all might not have seen that footage, but it was from a video from a previous Florida trip. That is what we were trying to do today. As I said, though, I'm, I'm new to catching Spanish mackerel, but I think the first time I ever caught Spanish mackerel so far was the coolest. Take a look at this. one that's gotta be a blue fish holy crap they are blitzing this beach oh that's a spanish yo that's my first ever spanish mackerel holy crap yo that's what i've been wanting to catch this is like holy freaking crap i want to see if there's more we're eating this guy all three trebles are in him so that's always this is a spanish mackerel Bingo. There's something better. It's fighting a little bit better, actually. What is that right there? Oh, that's another Spanish. That is freaking huge. This is crazy for this beach. Look at that freaking Spanish. Oh my gosh. There's another one. Oh, that's a decent fish. Holy crap. He's coming right at me. What the heck is this? You know Spanish? If this is Spanish, this is a big freaking Spanish. Jeez, man. This is freaking nuts. These things are freaking crazy sick looking though. Look at them teeth too. All right, well, I wasn't intending on this being like a Spanish mackerel highlight video. But let's not forget, we caught a new species, added a new one to the Pokedex. I believe that's a goggle eye, I think. This is just how fishing can be sometimes, you know? I was out there for hours, literally until it closed. Like that, they closed at sunset. It was very interesting. They like announced it over the intercom thing. Nobody caught like anything except for one guy. He caught like a Spanish mackerel. And then I did see another person snag a Spanish mackerel. But yeah, this is just realistic, you know? I don't think it helps that I'm here during like a really bad time of the year. Like bad time of year to 
to fish this specific pier. That's just what everybody kept saying. Either way, just getting out, enjoying the vibe, enjoying the water. It was uh, it was really cool. I cannot wait for y'all to see this next video. We got on some cool fish, and uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna leave you guys with some nice footage right now at the end of this video. Let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you guys in the next one. Just well.